back. I'm back. Told you I was coming back. Everything is hunky dory. All right. More fake blood. Cranberry juice. I love cranberry juice. I love sour stuff. It's probably why I'm kind of a jerk. Because I like sour stuff. I eat sour food, so I'm a sour person. That's my excuse. So I'm sticking to it. Anyway, so here we go. I've got perception running in the background. We're going to take a look at it. And we're going to check it out. Like I said, this is a really cool concept for a game. I'm pretty sure this is like an atmospheric horror. Or it is a horror game, so... I have my trusty Fitbit. We're at 88 right now. Let's do it. Let's do it! I love spicy food. Ugh. The spicier, the better. I actually, there's a video on YouTube of me doing shots of hot sauce shots. And also of five hot sauces mixed together and then a shot of scorpion chili sauce after that. Bam. Uh, alright, so select mode. Chatty Cassie Silent Night. This one's recommended. I like to get to know my character. Alright, I mean... Mm. You have when to you're have... blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. You learn what to trust. Focus, Cassie. What's this sound? A fan. Good. Now, what's in front of a fan? I don't know. Cassie, sounds are how we see. Listen. Thank you for the host, Thriller. It's a coffee mug. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Though you are without sight, it does not mean you cannot see. And most importantly, you learn to trust yourself. Even if that means hopping on the first flight to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. What? I don't know why I've been having these dreams for months now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the torment. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom of it. right I went to the right place this is wow what an interesting concept hello Candy, I'm on my way. Just stay put. listen I need to do this I'm at the door we don't hang up. peace She sees all this shit with sound? I mean, I guess, yeah. Hello? I know nobody's there, but I'm just doing my due yeah. diligence. Like I said, this, this looked like it was gonna be an interesting concept. Hello? Probably should have worked out a plan if someone is, you know, here. Probably should have, but... Oh. Yeah. Moving out? Or moving in? Nobody's supposed to be here. I guess there's not much I need to search for. <coughs> That's terrible. 
Sorry. That's a good point. I wonder if we are gonna run into something where it's- uh, uh. Deep breaths, Cassie. You're here for a reason. Hold on, let me turn In the volume dreams, of this up. I always see a rope, a ticket, an apple, and an axe. Maybe start there? I hear whispering. I don't get why this is... What I need to do here. I really do hear whispering. Well... I mean... There's some way to... Alright. Dearest Richard, happy anniversary, my love. What a perfect way to begin our tenth year together. New house, new baby on the way. I know this fresh start is the perfect way to complete our family. Felicia. Amazing that she can read that. Blind. What was that? Not in Braille. A memory? Am I supposed to be finding some sort of key or something like that? Like, obviously, this echolocation is pretty, uh, pretty snazzy. It does show you a lot of de- ah, wait a second. Can I pick any of these up? No. Ah! What 
six cents. Hello? Hello? This got dark real quick. Like, real dark real quick. Now, Cassie, that music box belongs to St. Joseph's, not to Cassie Thornton. Put it back. But I need the music box to help me fall asleep. It's a new house. I'm scared to go. <sighs> But I love this song. Okay, okay, fine. I'll leave it for the next girl. Ah, <sighs> I wish I'd left that one buried in the backyard. What brought that back? I don't know. The rope! I don't understand. This is the rope. The same damn rope from my dreams. What the hell does it mean? Damn. Guess I still have some digging around to do. Uh, Wish I left that one buried in the backyard. healing properties but last week when I had a stomach ache I went to touch it and it was hot the stone wasn't in the sunlight or by a heater and the stones around it were cool to the touch what really worries me is that it's a protection stone uh, I forget what they're called Hmm. Let's, let's hold on a minute. Let's completely... Gloucester's an interesting town. Salty. Not unfriendly, mind you, but rough around the edges. Wary of outsiders. My kind of town. There's a sort of paranoia in the air. A collective nervousness all the folks share. They're a jittery sort that could use a downer here or there. Okay. I wonder if it's due to the town's fishing village nature, a sort of impermanence that comes with working in the sea. An odd place, but not entirely unpleasant, just charged. That or they didn't like this house as previous owners. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't joke about shit like that. I don't foresee foresee that being a good idea. What the pregnancy manuals don't prepare you for is that first kick. It feels like you swallowed a big fat goldfish and it's flopping around in your stomach. <laughs> Maybe we'll name her Goldie. Goldie. Yeah, second sight without the first. I mean, it's plausible. 
It really is, if you think about it, because their, their senses, another sense is going to be much better. Goldie Hawn. Game saved! Oh, boy. Let me have a veggie stick. and I just forgot. What the hell? Who's here? my purse in the car. Yeah, sure. I'll grab him. Jesus. How do I get out? How do I get out? That's not how I get out. Shoot. I'm lost. How did you get out in this house? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Get out! I'm running around in circles. Alright, now hold on a minute. way out oh yeah oh Jesus whoa 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 you're imagining things Cass Patient, Briar, Felicia. 20 milligrams fluxodine, tabs. Instructions, take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? Most doctors. That's my text phone. message from Serge. Hey, about to board. What's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here and this shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. This place feels different. What is this baby gate up for? I'll be out in a bit. 
Um, just, just leave it on the bar, honey. Thank you. I don't think everything is kosher. Super. Now that I'm done running ghost errands, I can get back to the snooping. Each back to snooping! This dude's angry. Ooh, these veggie sticks are addicting. Hmm. Bennies. Tourists. Screw the bennies. Speech. Nancy Chang's Chinese cuisine. Are you going to read the menu or what? Pork egg foo young, eight ninety five. I don't understand why it's letting me hide now. Oh, maybe it's that? What is that? Let's find out. Oh. Ooh, something's moving. What is that? Getting closer. I'm so happy you stopped by, Blackheart. Gotta... Gotta quit work and just... Come join us. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. I know that's not going to work, but... Night-night, Mr. Blackheart. Alright. I'm going out. I'm going for it. We're running all willy-nilly. Is this the apple? The apple of my eye? House is listening. Who is master of the world? Man or the insect? Nature's most persistent creature representing intents of all forms of life. This terrifying mandible. Nope. No more nature walks. This pregnancy has made me so clumsy. Every time I try to take a stroll outside, I twist something. I can't wait to get my balance back. Physically and spiritually. Something's up. Something's definitely up. A rope, a ticket, and a goddamn apple have to do with anything. Why that? Why those items?
but like... Alright, so here's a question. I can't see. How do I know the lights... ...aren't all on in this house? And like... If the enemies can see... ...and I'm walking around in a house that's all the lights are on... ...they're gonna see me. What is he doing to her? What is going on? Is that getting closer? What's this mist? Okay. from but sometimes I see this thing don't know why but I just have to paint it even if it's just to get it out of my periphery for a bit. I want to see some, like, giant monster walk by, like, kablong, kablong, kablong. <laughs> well, you're blind, and you're using echolocation. It's a very odd concept. I must say, it is quite cool. In the closet with- it is in the closet with me. Okay, Dr. B. What interests you enough to use as a key code? Gotta poke around some. Okay. Back on. 
not even emitted any sound. I don't know why it's... I don't know what's going on. How about we not echolocate so much right now and we just tap our little feet? All right, we need to GTFO. Delphi, text to speech. One. Some kind of woman. Somehow, Somehow connected. connected to the tree. Two. Other people. Seemingly unrelated. A 1940s housewife. Could this be Betty? Some man with a mustache? Three. That song. Four. The noises. Five. Misaligned chakras? chakras. Was she having visions too? Everything's fine now. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Sandy's fine. Won't you come back and sleep with us, Richard? Daddy. into my own hands that's not alpha male or anything thank you I was just thinking that mm. oh yeah we got antidepressants got all sorts of stuff like I said this guy's doing something I think he's doing something pretty freaking shifty. Cause like... I don't think it's necessarily safe to be doing all that stuff. And then morphine on top of it? I'm amazed how everything fits under, under one screen. Alright. The only star I can really seem to hone in on is IC2118. A fave, to be sure, but dot the stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. I should try 2118 for that key code. Alright, let's do it. Anything else fun up here? Why can't I have like a house with a observation tower and a library and shit like that? I ain't scared of no ghost. Sleep with us, Danny. Sleep with us. Nope. No, sorry, I'm not interested.
I have no idea. I don't think it is. Just a shot in the dark, but I wonder if that star the good doctor was referring to might be it. What was it again? Rec room key. Delphi, text to speech. Dear Richard Pryor, you must immediately alert any current patients and cease administering therapy or prescriptions as of today. Any attempt to continue practicing will be considered fraud and subject to prosecution in court. Sincerely, Roger Bradley. American Psychiatric Institute. The jig is up. The pig has been poked. The eagle has landed. This dude's a crock. Why can't I go in anymore? I know, my fingers fumble keys and sometimes I'm a little slower than before, but you can't keep me prisoner in this house, in this body. I don't want any more pills. I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going either. Game saved again. This game's crazy. Get out of here. It appears this method works best with patients that are, how should I say, more loquacious than others? Oh, loquacious! They certainly are pulling out the big words. Dude's got an arcade? Scared no ghosts. April second. Patient is once again sedated and resting. Part of me wonders if the strange sounds around this house aren't just signs of its age. I'm frightened of this place and of my own wife. I spend most of my time in the turret telling Felicia I'm working and watching the baby. In reality, I'm cowering. So, all right, so she had the baby. That's what we're picking up here. But she's a lunatic. Found one of Felicia's paintings today. While I did, in fact, encourage her to take up this new hobby after seeing this piece, I... Well, it sickened me. Made me question my own advice. It wasn't her technique that gave me pause, but rather her subject matter. Oh, what was it? Oh, no, don't cut me off like that! How dare you! <laughs> this is the prequel to Omen?
It's from my favorite book growing up, The Princess and the Frog. My mom said she always caught me by old stinky ponds and wetlands looking for my future husband. But it wasn't about boys. I fell in love with nature. The sort of spirits that bind us. If a gem or an herb could facilitate a divine connection, why couldn't an animal have a beautiful soul? I mean, I do have to agree with her on that. I sculpted you a killer frog, Felicia. Oh, it's below me. Damn. Stepping on. Bubble wrap? It's like. <laughs> yeah, I hear it. Jerk. Nope, 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 nope. Not while I'm in there. What is that? No? No, it's over here. there come on oh 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 wait no I was just out here wasn't I this hasn't changed right one some kind of woman, woman. Some Somehow can... yeah we did that already whoop, 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 whoop. to the tree two other people seemingly unrelated a 1940s housewife? Could this be Betty? Some man with a mustache? Three. That song. Four. The noises. Five. Misaligned chakras? chakras. Been there, done that. How do we get to that? Can we get out of this house? Uh... Oh, -ho! fuck! What's up, Darnell? Ooh. Did not see me. All right, let's take this nice and slow. Somewhat behind on stuff, but 
we're getting there. And just a reminder, if you're watching live, after this, during our next game, doing a giveaway. Ooh. Does your wife know you've had your doctor's license taken from you? That's an issue. I need to get out there somehow. Arcade, right? Yeah. Hmm. And I can't go through the window. There's got to be a way to get out of here. Back to this one side. I'm thinking maybe the green denotes, like, where you need to go. Or, like, places of interest? That's far away. Damn. This is a no exit. Sheesh. Oreo fireworks? Oh, 
I'm screwed. Oh, Pop Rocks? Any good? up here oh yeah this is his turret isn't it We need to close behind me. Oh, here's another. Oh, here. Rebuilding a practice is a daunting task, especially when you consider our remote location. But then it hit me. Remote sessions. I've had patients reach out over the phone before. So, why not embrace that? I'm certain some former colleagues would take issue, but then they would take issue with SSRIs. Serotonin reuptake inhibitors. SSRIs. Antidepressants. FYI. Bathroom bad thing? in the strangest places around the house. The last one I threw over the side of the cliff because it made me feel dizzy when I touched it. But here it is. The same and one here it is. stitched I back under our bed. And it's a little soggy. That's a little not cool. Turning and tossing and turning. I used to sleep on my belly before I got pregnant. Now I roll around like a woman possessed. This baby kicks so frantically sometimes. It <laughs> must be very excited. I hope. Yeehaw.
out and say we did. Did it really just walk through the door? I really shouldn't joke around with stuff like that, but... He's the last thing I think about before I fall asleep. That moment between wake and sleep where everything is so real. I relive that moment every night. This slow motion nightmare, night after night after night. So I just tried to live without sleep. I'd go days without sleep until I would just collapse from exhaustion. And my body would just shut down. I would relive that 10 seconds that changed my life forever. Weather-wise, it was an amazing day. You hear a lot about being a wet mess in Vietnam, and they're right. It was nothing but wetlands, rain, and more wet. 
Every once in a while, a wind would pick up and blow all the humidity away. It would only last a day or so, but man, we loved those days. This was that day. I could feel the cool breeze and the sun warm in my helmet. Our squad was going on patrol in the area of Halma Village. There was a lot of action, but our squad hadn't suffered casualties since I got there. It didn't even dawn on me that I was replacing somebody that didn't make it. Youth, right? You know that thing where you get scared when a bug lands on your face and you jump out of your skin, but you laugh at a haunted house because you expect to be scared? I think this was the same thing. We expected nothing, so when the bug landed on our face, it made an impression. We started to trudge through yet another rice field, M14 at the ready. The mud from the field was all the way up to my knees, and each step was a struggle. We saw some movement in the stand of trees to the north. We got into offensive formation, ready for what was going to come next. I grabbed a pair of binoculars from PFC Rogers' backpack and scanned the forest, where we saw the movement, and I started to laugh, because the movement was just a dog looking for some rats in the field. Our squad leader saw the same thing. Squad leader gave us a signal and we all unpuckered our butts and kept moving. We didn't get ten steps when all hell broke butt. loose. And there was a single shot. Rogers dropped in front of me in a single hole in his head. Who knows how many shots were fired from the trees at us. I held on to Rogers. I can't tell you what was going around. I just remember looking up and seeing a helicopter opening fire at the trees. I later found out it was seven minutes after the shooting had started and it was a blur. I was still there when the medic came and pulled Rogers to the waiting evac chopper. I loved him. He and I were a thing. Sure, no one knew. Well, that's not true. Everyone knew, but, but, but no one said anything. We met each other in training school and we hit it off from day one. He let slip something that made me think that he was like me. Maybe he and I shared the same deep secret. That few weeks later we were alone studying. I just asked him. It was so funny. You could hear him stammering and lying and quickly changing the subject. I called him a liar and I kissed him. At first it was just a peck, followed by a kiss that only two 19-year-olds in their prime could do. We would find places to sneak off base. He came to my folks' house for Christmas. That gets a clap. We, Get these the hell we away from me. In love, but we didn't say anything. We loved the service to our country, and we didn't want to see it end. Every time I drift off to sleep, all I see is him falling into my arms. My first real love, gunned down in front of me on a foothill in a mountain range, with a stand of evergreen trees, on the most amazing day I'd ever known. That sucks. Man, is that crappy. It's the unfortunate reality, though. My hair is... Oh! Didn't mean that! Certainly is getting mad at me.
is the bathroom. after me. Sounds like silent service. Damn. I'm definitely missing something. have a kick the door down option. Ooh, that was loud. Chill for a second. We're actually okay. That startled me.
hell is this? Holy shnikes! That was loud. Have you come to play? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Alright, so this was the bathroom from the beginning, I guess. Anything? better if I hit the walls. A lily. What is this? Dose three. Attempted a blockade of presynaptic dopamine reuptake, but this has accelerated patient psychosis. Going to try a cocktail of meprotoline, amoxapine, and trazodone. Trazodone? Symptoms not typical postpartum and seem to be triggered in certain parts of the home. Considering hypnosis. Is that? Shoot. Understand what it is. Let me in. Yeah, like this dude's crazy. I keep going to look out the window, and the windows are blockaded. Well, for right now, I'm going to leave this here. This game's crazy. This concept of, like, the blind and the echolocation and stuff like that. What a... What an odd point of view. Like, really... I like it, though. I think that's pretty, uh... Pretty damn awesome. Can't shut this off, can I? No. Very cool. Very cool. Good good game, devs. Good game. I This is... Like I said um, earlier, I was kind of hyped about this game because I saw the trailer and thought it looked interesting. But, you know, it's one of those things where you can watch a trailer and see all this cool stuff like the echolocation, like lighting stuff up and things like that. But until you actually get in and see it in use... It looks cool, but really is it, it, you know, is it cool? And you know what? It's pretty darn neat. Cool, cool stuff.
So again, that was Perception. Thank you to the devs for giving me a copy of that to check out. They really did a good job on that whole aesthetic and the echo. Like, really. Like, it was, again, one of those things where I was like, mm, it can go either way. It was, you know, they, they pulled through. They pulled through. So, thanks for joining me. If you're watching previously recorded on YouTube, do like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you're watching live, don't go anywhere because we're going to do another first look. And we're going to do a giveaway. So again, don't go anywhere. I'll be back.